Yeah. All right. Hi, everybody. <laughs> We're back. Uh, J&T GSLC podcast. And this, I believe, is number 11. So we made it that far. And I'm double joined. Digits. Double digits. Uh, we're joined again uh, on my right, Tim. And whoop, on my left is our esteemed guest this time, Craig Netzer. Is that? Hopefully That's I, right. I got well, Okay, I got that right. I'm not usually very good at that. It's pretty easy. Um, so, Craig, uh, Craig's kind of a recent member, new member, he and his wife, and they've been getting involved in church here and thought. It'd be great to kind of interview you. Tell us a little bit about yourself, you and your wife, and what brings you to Good Shepherd. What do you like? What you're doing? Probably should have had my wife sitting here. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's a little more involved. Um, yeah, I think it was maybe a year ago or so, I think, when we joined. So it hasn't been very long. Um, we were just looking for a church uh, locally after the, the whole COVID thing, and and um, and so Mary Jo was reading the website, you know, for uh, Good Shepherd and, and liked what she read. And so we decided to come and try it out. And, and, and I mean, honestly, from the very first weekend that we walked in the door, everybody was so friendly mm -hmm. and everything was, it was very sincere. So it wasn't, you know, you could just tell it what, you know, people weren't just in positions you know, just to fill a position, you know, people did it because they like doing what they were doing as far as greeting or, or, or what have you. So, so yeah, so we um, started coming back and then it's like, yeah, we just really like everybody. So we thought the best way to kind of really get to know the church and the people is to get involved. Yeah. So and, and you even stuck around. I mean, Pastor Kemp kind of left shortly after then that uh, you guys joined and but that I mean, wasn't, obviously, we don't think that was related. No, I, no. I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I think you're all right. I thought you were insinuating <laughs> something. No, good to, clarify, good to clarify that. Uh, but you're on council as well. So, yeah. I mean, you've, yeah. you've kind of taken some leadership role there. Tell us a little bit about what's happening in the council. Well, um, right now, I think, let's see. Do you want like specifics as far as things that were that we're discussing, or um, yeah, or just or just or just, or just of, general uh, background? Yeah, I mean, background yeah. I, when fine. when I started thinking about council and actually Kartika, she's very good at getting people to kind of oh, yeah. get involved with things, and she's and she kind of gives a little cattle prod, and that's what I think people need, and she she does it in a friendly way, so it's just like you. You, you, mm -hmm. just, you can't help but say sure let's 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 do it try it you know so um so yeah i got involved and and i've only been to uh, i think three meetings so far but um yeah things are it's it's kind of nice to just kind of see what that's where you really learn about the church and what's going on with the church yeah, it's a great way to meet people i i found that to be really fun i mean i'm still talking to josh after you know, yeah. council with him that's kind of nice and, and I, I know you do the video well, yeah. I, well, I hate a button. I mean, it's yeah. Really, yeah, and uh, Mary Jo <laughs> plays <laughs> ukulele um, and, yeah. Yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, anything, and, anywhere we can fit in, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know at least we're going to try anyway. We might not. Uh, I'm always interested yeah. a little bit in why people do it. We uh, Michael J. Fox was at the Grand last night, by the way. I don't know if you know Oh, that. was he? Really? And it was very interesting. And uh, obviously with severe Parkinson's now, mm -hmm. but he said that, be generous. You give back way more than you give. And is that your experience? When I mean, because you guys are pretty active here. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think I mean, you do. You get more than you, you than you can ever give, and and you don't realize that. I think that kind of comes with age too. I mean, maybe some young people get it. I never have. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think that's you probably true. You may got to hit me two by four or five times <laughs> yeah. before I learn. I think so that's like, probably true. Yeah. But but um, yeah, I think. Uh, um, that's what we've always found. If we, you know, get involved, it all, you know, just generosity and everything comes back. And, and yeah, no, we love it here. Yeah. So, I mean, whether yeah. it's time or finances, it, whatever you give, it seems like then you're more interested, then you get more, and it just becomes mm -hmm. this kind of growth cycle. The, the more you, the more you participate, the more you. You know people the more you enjoy it and even if you're you know you're writing out a check you know you come and say what my money's doing here yeah. you know 
And, right. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and it really, I think it really, you know, if people are wondering if they're getting something, they should just give a little more and they'll actually get a lot more. It's been my experience. Absolutely. Yeah. Active yeah. participation. Yeah. We kind of talked about that right. uh, when I was on council. So, yeah. And we should you're, thank you. are living proof of active participation. And we want to thank you guys for everything you do. I guess what I, one thing I wanted to cover here, Craig, before we let, we let you go, is just talk a little bit about the first quarter finances and you know, maybe give us council's reaction. Um, usually, I, I just kind of like to look at these at kind of a high level. Um, the income uh, or donations is a better word, actually, I apologize, for the first quarter was uh, $56,000. And we were budgeted to take in about sixty four, so that's about nine thousand dollars under budget. Uh, we were budgeted to spend sixty one thousand five hundred, and we spent sixty one thousand seven hundred. So our expenses are actually pretty accurate. accurately on budget and accurately predicted by the finance committee, which I'm in charge of. Although Paul, there's Paul Agru does all the work there, but anyway, <laughs> nice <point>. job. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a while. Oh, yeah, Once in a while. Hurt right. yourself on the back. All right. so, so anyway, so after the first quarter, uh, our expenses are $5,000 above our income. So, yeah, uh, you know, obviously we don't have a full-time pastor or a part-time pastor. We're doing supply pastors still, so we have some um, numbers budgeted for that. Um yeah, it's it's difficult. It is. And I think um, not knowing a lot about the demographics of the church as far as I I just know what I see, you know, from coming mm -hmm. on the Sundays. I really don't know membership count or, or you know, um, what the what the average age is of, of the membership. Right. Um, it just it seems like the church is vibrant and it's. It's doing well, you know. People are coming to church. I'm seeing new faces, and even for me, well, basically, I'm still a new face. You know, it's I'm recognizing new, new faces around, and uh, so you just and I know, you know, we we're just talking about this as far as people tending to need to get involved in the church a little bit more before they start actually giving or anything. So it's kind of a it takes some time anyway. But that's the only thing that is on the council side is we're just concerned because right now, if, if we're 4,000 under budget, is this going to continue and is, is it just going to keep getting larger as the year goes or is it going to, you know, because we did have extra expenses this quarter. So it's just like, or is it going to come back up and, 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 or we can get back up in the black again. Mm -hmm. So that's, I mean, that's really the only concern, but we're seeing people. I think people are happy here. I think people really want to see the church thrive right. and, you know, but if we keep digging from the same pockets all the time, you know, the pockets get a little thin after a while. So it's like, so, I think so that's the only something concern. that bears monitoring. I mean, there is a very interesting cyclical pattern to this. January is usually the worst month out of the year for us. Um, you know, April and, and Christmas are usually our best months. So, you know, sometimes if you follow it quarter to quarter, it can be a little deceiving. You know, obviously you sure would like to see your, right. you know, especially when you look to add a pastor's salary, perhaps at some point in time, you know, right. yeah, or a part of a pastor's salary. So. And I know we're not unique. I mean, there's no. a lot of churches. As a matter of fact, there's a, uh, um, a shared ministry meeting coming up at the end of the, April. April 29th. That, yeah, a few of the council members are going to go to. And that could be interesting just to see if there, you know, mm -hmm. if there's some strengths in other churches where we're weak or vice versa that we can share and just see what yeah. that looks like. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we had a good Good Friday service with uh, St. Andrews. That was great. So, perfect. Thank you for joining. It's great to have you. Thank you. I like the music there. and the smiley face. <laughs> and. It's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah you don't want me up there. <laughs> we appreciate you coming in. I appreciate yeah. it. Thanks. 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 Are we back? Yeah. Okay. We didn't come that far. Well, that's fine. We're not. We're kind of lounging around. We're going to take a little break after that. It was kind of exhausting. Yeah. I had to recover. Uh, yeah. We're back. Uh, I just wanted to touch on a few things. Easter Sunday was uh, actually, I thought it was great. 210. I think we had, yeah, over 200 people. Um, that attended. I think there was more than there was for Christmas, I think. 
Yeah, I mean, so it's... So people at the sunrise. At the sunrise? Okay. Oh, that's so, exciting. Yeah, that was uh, great to see. It's been a while, I think, since we've seen that yeah. know, number. And so. did you talk to whoever sat in your spot about... I didn't. <laughs> I let it go, okay, after I finally realized I could sit somewhere else. Because it was fun to watch yeah, you wander sure around the back of the church. <laughs> Very Lutheran. Well, I'm I glad thought it was you, very Lutheran. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, we found another spot. Oh, okay. It was tough, well, but... Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Now yeah. I have two spots I can go to. <laughs> anyway, uh, a couple things we have coming up. Uh, new member worship uh, is April 30th, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, we are on the uh, ministry site profile. We are coming up with a survey that Paul and Joanna are working on and that'll be coming out soon. As Craig mentioned, we have a meeting on the 29th for, with other churches and with the Senate to go over, I guess, a bunch of topics. It's a kind of a few hours event, so there's a lot of information. Five under, there's five? I think there's five other churches or four other churches, I believe, that are attending. That are a sort of assessing their pastoral situation. Correct. Right? Okay. Um, we'll have a plant sale. That'll be coming up May 20th and 21st. Spring cleanup. Keep that in mind. I noticed somebody's been cleaning up out there, but we'll have something in the middle of May usually is, is that. Um, confirmation is also coming up next month. I believe that's the 21st. And that's well. at St. Stephen? No, no, that is here. Oh, okay. Um, so we have three kids yep. that we are confirming. Oh, okay. Great. So, Great. Um, that's kind of what I have. That's it. I don't know if you've got anything. I got, in I got nothing. You've got to get to a haircut. I got I nothing. I got, a long, little bit, I got a little long hair I need to yeah. trim. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Yep, thanks. I'm not sure after this if there'll be a number 12 or not. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what the, yeah, if, if somebody really begs us. I guess. Yeah. We'll see what the... Thanks for tuning in. All right.